Hey, what is up guys? Colossonics here and today we're going to be talking about sleep. In this video, I have five tips for you to help you fall asleep and improve your quality of sleep. So even if you're someone who has no trouble falling asleep and you seem to wake up after a full night's sleep and you still feel tired, these tips might help you more than you know. First tip, which is probably the most important tip and something that you probably already know, and that is you should be sleeping in a dark room. Now that sounds obvious, but how dark does this room have to be? I'm talking dark. Your body is so sensitive to light. Since your body is covered in photoreceptors, which like sync you up with the sun, right? Our bodies are so in tune with nature that we want to be awake when the sun is up and we want to be going to bed when the sun's going down. That being said, we even have light receptors in our skin. There was a study made aware to me by sleep expert Sean Stevenson where they got a subject to sleep in a completely dark room with only one source of light. A light the size of a quarter was placed under the subject's knee and the results showed that that impacted that study's sleep. And they compared it with other subjects who didn't have this quarter sized light under their knee and the results showed that the subject that had the light under his knee had a worse sleep. Even that much light under his knee, under his knee, who would even think? that light from behind you would affect your sleep. It does. That being said, you wanna have as dark a room as possible. You don't want light coming in under the door. You don't want light coming in through the curtains, street lights, car lights, alarm clock lights. You wanna sleep in blackout conditions, which leads us into tip number two, wear an eye mask. Now another kind of goofy, and they're probably something that you're thinking right now, people actually wear these things? Well, my wife sleeps with them and I always thought that they were goofy. And then she bought me this one as a joke because it says airplane mode on it because is when you're sleeping and you're going into airplane mode, you know, it's, it's pretty funny. I'll give her that. It's pretty funny. But then I actually started sleeping with it and then I got this nice cushiony blanket over my eyes. It was just like comforting, like the, like the sensation you get when you're wearing a normal blanket kind of comforted my eyes and helped relax me. At the same time, it helped black out the room because at the time we lived in an apartment on the third floor and there was a street light right outside of our window that just blasted through the curtains. And all of a sudden I started sleeping with this eye mask and I was getting good sleeps, who would have known? So yeah, I do recommend eye masks. While we're on the subject of gadgets that help you fall asleep, I'm gonna talk about something else I didn't think would work and that's a uh, mouth guard. Why? because I snore, all right? There, there, it's out there, it's, a, it's out there in the open. I snore and that's not a great situation for the person snoring and it's an even worse situation for the person who has to sleep beside you listening to you snore. So the problem with people who snore, for the most part, is their muscles relax and their throats and their tongues just go bleh and they sit in your airway and prevent you from breathing right so your tongue is just in there flapping away in the wind as you're trying to sleep and yeah, you're sleeping through the night like a baby. You're snoring, so that must mean you're in a deep sleep. But you're not getting air. You're not getting air to your body. You're not getting air to your brain. So you sleep all through the night. You wake up, you're exhausted. You feel like you've just run a marathon. Yeah, because you haven't been getting any air. So what this thing does, it's just like an athletic mouth guard that you put in your mouth to protect your teeth. Except it pulls your jaw forward a little bit. So when your jaw is forward, it opens up your airway. Now again, I thought this was goofy. I didn't want to wear it. The first couple nights sucked. I'd wake up with like sore teeth for some reason, but hey, I felt rested. I felt great in the morning. So would I recommend a mouth guard for sleeping? Yes, if you snore and if you don't, who knows? Maybe it'll improve your sleep. Tip number four, and this kind of plays off the light tip that you heard earlier. I'm talking about blue light. I'm talking about blue light. You already know about blue light. Phones are being built with blue light filters now. It's becoming more obvious and aware that blue light is in all of our technology. It's in our TV screens, it's in our phones, it's in our computers. Anytime that we are staring at a screen, there's blue light coming out of that screen. And you know what blue light resembles? Sunlight, exactly. So you're in your room, it's 1 a.m., you're on your phone, your eyes think that it's a nice sunny day. So what happens then? Your melatonin, which is the sleep hormone that your body produces to make you fall asleep, doesn't get made because, hey, it's a sunny day. It's a sunny day in this phone. It's a sunny day in my computer screen. One hour of screen time delays your melatonin production by half an hour. So if you're in your phone an hour before bed, you know for sure after you turn your phone off, you're gonna have to wait at least half an hour before that melatonin starts to kick in and make you fall asleep. So if you spent three hours gaming and then another two hours on Netflix, and then you spent an hour on your phone before you go to bed, and you're wondering why you can't sleep, no, you don't have insomnia, you doofus. You're just spending too much time in front of screens before you go to bed. That being said, possible solution, you could have a curfew, decide I'm gonna stop going on my phone at this time, this time is bedtime. You know, it seems like a simple solution, but that's because it is a simple solution. Or on your phone, like I said earlier, phones have blue light filters, so you can 
swipe your phone down, go to that blue light filter option and you turn that filter up. I have mine on at like three quarters all the time. You should be able to tweak your settings, you know, in your laptop at least for sure. I'm not sure about TV, but definitely cutting that blue light down will give you a lot easier of a time falling asleep. And my final tip for you is to exercise or just be physical throughout your day. If you live a very sedentary lifestyle, you might not be tired at the end of the day because your body hasn't done anything. I know, man, the days after football practice, I couldn't wait to go to bed. The days after I was strongman training, I couldn't wait to go to bed. The days where I was working out in the gym hard, doing a rigorous routine, that's why I couldn't stay awake late. When you're working out regularly and you're going through that vigorous exercise with weights or whatever taxes your body throughout the day will give you a much easier time falling asleep. Then you appreciate the bed so much more. You don't feel bored when you're lying in bed waiting to fall asleep because that's what you're supposed to do. Your body's gonna be like, oh yes, I've been waiting for this piece. You're gonna get under the covers, you're gonna be in love with all the soft materials around you. Your body's gonna finally relax. Your leg muscles are gonna relax. Your body's gonna relax. You just appreciate being in bed so much more after you exercise. That being said, if you're not exercising, go to the gym, put in an hour of work, come home, and tell me you don't have a hard time staying awake. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If there's a tip that surprised you or you maybe have a tip that you'd like to leave, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. That would really help me grow. Floss XL.